one on the legs. You can, they, pick, they, they grab the pollen from them, pick it up on their legs. So when they come in, if their legs are up high, then they haven't got any honey on them. Um, they're not bringing, but when they fly in and their legs are dropped, then it means they're, they've got honey. They're laden with honey. So you know that, um, that Australian hive that mm. they'd kind of created because, and they were saying the honey just comes out of itself. Yeah. Is that... Okay. Hmm. I don't know. We, we can't make up our minds on that with the Bee Society. I know one or two people who say they've got them, but they're a bit cagey about whether they're actually, um, you know, Natural. they're working or not. So this one is, that's all the new hive. So what's going to happen? We'll find a queen in a minute. The queen will lay in that area there, eggs, which will then progress through to grubs, as we call them. And then they put the stores around the outside. And so when the grubs come out, they've automatically got their honey. These bees are the lighter bees. Um, that, that hive is darker. They've got darker bees in there, which are the Italian ones. Okay. So, but they all... They're, how long do the bees like, live? live? The summer bee will live probably about two months. The winter bees will live up to four months. Oh, they're a lovely, lovely Oh, wow. Bird. So there you go, they're the brood. Oh, that's incredible. You can see the brood, they put the honey all the way around it, so when they come out, and you'll see, if you look close enough, you'll see some some eggs, which are like little, tiny little um, Oh yes, I can see it. and things in there. Yeah. Remember and the little the worker bees, actually, yeah. feeding them. Mm -hmm. And then that's pollen in there, which is, um, which, the, when the bees put that in, they, they tell, that tells the queen, that um, it's time to start laying. So she, the queen will go off lay until the pollen starts to come. And where back is, in. can I just ask you, because I use the woggle dance mm -hmm. for my. See all the eggs in there. See all the eggs? Wow. Those sticks. They'll all be doing it, they're doing it all the time. Um, so, you know, that you'll see them, you know, when they bring in this honey, when they come off. Um, in the summer it's a bit more. But do they have a, like a platform where then, no, when they come back inside the hive? No, they'll tend to do it on the actual... Oh, on, on the, the, on the, wax. the comb, the yeah, wax the itself. Comb. Oh, that one's busy, isn't it? It's not the biggest of hives, this one, it's growing, but you can see she's, it's going to be busy. The queen's really busy on this one. I haven't marked this queen yet, so she's a bit difficult to see. She'll be probably on this one if she's anywhere. Because that's the bigger one, the biggest one. Oh, look at all the eggs there, it's amazing. How many bees do you have in that one? Do you know? This one, probably not that many. I would say, it, I don't know, a thousand or so. The big hives go up to 50,000 plus. How do they know why to, they're coming here, not another one? Oh, it's just a homing instinct. Mm. Um, but, you know, if those ones come in here, they, they'll get attacked. They will, don't they? Yeah. They're so uh, protective of their own uh, oh, yeah. community, isn't it? It's incredible, really, when you read about it. This queen's been playing a bit loose. So how long does it take to do the, me the, the honey now? So that's, they obviously... Uh, this will be pulling out in August. August. Yeah, so they just started laying. And one so hive like that? Coming through. Oh wow, it's incredible. And look at the pollen on that one, like little one, yellow. She's got all the legs yellow. <laughs> it's mad. It is, isn't it? You just think they all know what they're doing. Yeah. Oh, we know she's definitely in here because she's lame, but she's been a bit difficult for him. Right. I saw her yesterday when I came in. And how many, how much honey do you do from that little hive oh, then? Nothing. I wouldn't. We wouldn't take honey out of this one. Oh, we didn't you? No. no do you just take the maybe the the the, the wax? Do you do that? Uh, we do you replace do things? the wax just because of disease and stuff. We try and do that yearly. This one's got to be done. Um, but. Oh wow, that's amazing. But this works, isn't it, too bad? 
Where are you, Missy? <coughs> do you actually mark them? So how do you mark Some them? Some people do. Um, we should mark them. It makes it finally easier. We just go and get a little pin with colour on it. It's just like a, 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 a little toothpick. We put colour on it and then we have one for each. That's a very baby baby bee. That one's just come out. This little one here. Oh. You can see how small, how small they are. She's so just very confused yeah. still. The way the hierarchy works is as soon as they come out, they stay in here for about two weeks. Right, yeah. Um, and just, just, they become worker bees. And then they'll, once they've finished their apprenticeship, <laughs> um, then they'll become, then they'll, you know, they, sorry, they first of all become hive bees and then they go into worker bees. And the worker bees are like in control of everything. She'll be here. You see how they're all moving fast? So she's going to be around here somewhere. When they start moving fast, you should find She's queens around. There. Oh, look at the pollen on that one, around the bottom of her legs. So there's just one queen per hive. Yeah. And when a queen dies, they but go... They don't usually... The bees, the worker bees are controlled, or in control, so they will actually... When they think she's failing, they will, they will make, um... They will make another, uh... What we would um, pod, um, which then the new queens will come out of, if you see what I mean. At that stage, they either swarm. The old queen will swarm. They'll, she'll go off with everyone else, leaving just loads of eggs and the new um, and the new queen cells. Um, still can't see her. Anyway. No. Um, the you know the new queen cells, um, and and then new hive starts, and that's what swarming is all about. Right. It's, you know, replacing the old with the new. And they they fly very far, don't they? I yeah, mean, I've done. Two, I was reading miles, so many two. books, but yeah. how many? How did you say how many miles? They can go up to four miles. Four miles. Mm -hmm. But most of them, I hope, will be in here. Right, that's ivy, honey. That's no good. Um, that's they find very. They, ivy is a really nasty one. They find it very difficult to um, to break that down. Oh, okay. So they're just not, that's why there isn't many bees that's on that one. Isn't. Yeah, so we'll tend to just break that down for them. They'll rebuild this coat in no time at all. Just to break it up a little bit for them. It's just amazing the whole natural way they, they're doing that, that is, isn't it? it? It is a hive, it is a, it is a, a super organism. You know, they all think, they all think alike. Mm. It's amazing. Yeah, this is it. It's, everything is about the vision and the mission of the, the hive. It's mm -hmm. to make the, the honey. Mm -hmm. So there you go. Sorry Keeping I couldn't the queen. Her, but she wasn't, That's all right. I don't right. want to play around too, too much. I really don't want to lose her. There isn't two queens anyway, so, you know, she just knew I was coming. So <laughs> this is it. <laughs> Could I... Do you mind if I pick one up and then you, sure. you film... Well, or so we'll, on, do is we'll oh. have a quick look in the other one just to have a nosy. In the big one? Yeah. Yeah? Let's put this one back. See, I didn't even have to use the. These ones are so passive. They're lovely. Didn't have to use the smoke at all. It seems to be um, quite a small. Yeah, all happy, playing together. Well, that's the idea. You, <laughs> do. you try and get everything is done gently, gently, gently. Mm. No, no fast movements, no, you know, we just go at it in their time, their speed. And if you do that, everyone's happy. <laughs> and you move, you can't move the hive once you've, you've started no, them. This one's only come up here, what, three, four days ago. Oh, okay. Um, but well, you've got to move them, I think, more than, more than they say, two miles. But it's at the different temperature, isn't it? Uh, I don't know how much is in here, but I think we've had rat infestation, you can see all masks which is not good news, so there might not be anything in here, they might have been gone. That home, it's looking a bit quiet, this one. Yeah. Mm. So that was a bigger hive, but it's actually, they're out foraging this part. But that's, this needs to be all changed, so I'll take one of those out please. A bit of work to be done here. Oh yeah. Yeah, so it's constantly... Work. This is why five is enough for me. But you see the, the, the colour of the bees, slightly different to this one. Yeah, they're much quieter as well. Right, that's all propolis here. What's that? Propolis, this, this red stuff. Oh, right. Okay, that's all very healthy stuff. 
Oh, so you. Oh, so that's what they use when they do the medicines and. Yeah. Feed it, what does that mean? We'll put um, old honey in here, or honey, give them back some honey to fill up the... Oh, okay. Do you want my pot back? No. No, we have, a, we have what we call a sort of like a scruffy thing. See, this all needs changing. Mmm, yeah, it doesn't look as, um, as lovely as the other one, does it? Yeah, that's all tired, tired wax, so all this will come out in the next week. And they'll rebuild from, from yeah. scratch. Yeah. yeah. I'm a bit worried about this hive, to be honest. Mm. This is why I bought it up here. Ooh. You right? <laughs> I'm just falling on the floor. lots and lots of ivy honey. Too much. I think the queen's gone again. Well, she's gone gallivanting, isn't she? Yeah. It's the right time to do that. Uh, we're finding it more and more and more to be honest. There's no eggs. I'm going to have to force them to... Yeah, there's no eggs in there. How long have you been doing that, Glyn? Doing what? Well, bees forever, I guess, your dad. Years, uh, You've grown with bees? Yeah. Just a little. And that, you can eat that, can't you? When you yeah. see that, when the honeycomb, you yeah. get the whole honeycomb out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And how many bees in that one, do you think? This one's small. She's, it's not happy. It hasn't had, it's been queenless now for a while. Um, so, there's no new, there's no new brood. Ah, oh, so compared to the other okay, one. And have you f doing it's from this hive or from another, yeah, this is having it. Look at that. That's, yeah. that's a mouse feature there. Yeah. Oh, wow, wow. Difference from one hive to another. Oh. Right. Let's get you something to hold. <laughs> that looks a bit healthier. Well, it's not. It's not? No. It's scruffy. All this needs to come out. Oh, really? Well, you've got a bit of work to do a then. work on this one. All of them to be done. In here. Oh, the mouse come in. Yeah, you can see it's very scruffy down the bottom. And it eats the honey. Don't they get bitten by the, the uh, bees? Depends on how strong the hive is. See, if, if I took you up to Warren Farm now, we've um, got a very strong hive up there. It's up here, but they're vicious. Really? Um, but we find, we find it's different. So, <laughs> the mouse wouldn't go there. No, I wouldn't go near that one. No. They, they can pick out the ones that are. But not, you know, tougher than the others. Oh, I've got a lot of work to do on this one. Right, should we go back into the other hive and find you a nice home to, to hold and look at? And take a photograph of it? Mm. Put this one back and I'll come and work on this tomorrow. I've got a lot of work on that one. Mm. It's so just finding the time, I guess. Breed up a new queen. So how do you... Yeah. So what I'll do is... Um, well, I won't do it on this one. I'll wait, I'll wait about two weeks on my big hive. Uh, see how they're, this is clever. What they're doing is they're, that's warning. They're war they're, they're, they're trying, that's their defense mode, you know, because they know I've been in. So then now they know um, they've been weakened. So what they're doing is they're doing that um, to actually say, don't come here. Wow, Otherwise look at their, going to yeah, look. You. Their butt is all lifted. Because yeah, they, they put a, they put a. Um, the stings out. A smell out from the butts. Ah. Oh. Which warn other bees away because they know they're they're at their weakest position at the moment. Right. So other, high, other bees are looking to come in and steal. Oh wow, that's incredible, isn't it? Just the way they, they do communicate. On sometimes on here as well. So on the flight board, you've seen them do that there a few times. But you tend to get the waggle dances later when there's really a lot of pollen coming in. Or when they have to tell each other where to go. Yeah. 
Oh, that's a disappointing time, that one. Oh. A disappointing winter. It's hard to get them back. Very hard. And can you... I went into the winter with five. And I've come out with three. Oh dear. And that's probably two and a half, actually. If you can call this one a hive. I can't really call this one a hive because it's still half. Yeah. And what do you put in that smoke? What start that smoking? That's, that's just leaf. Oh, is it just leaves? Uh, sometimes I come in and they'll be absolutely going gums for me. <laughs> and that's when I'll use the, I'll use the smoke, but to be honest, not a lot. I, I prefer not to use it. There you go, gonna hold that one. Mm. So, I'm filming as, as it is. Mm. Wow, look at that, incredible. And it smells as well, right? Oh, yeah. Wow. Oh, dear. <laughs> Getting a bit close now. <laughs> Thank very, you. Very, very placid, these ones. That's why I wasn't going to take you up. If I took you to the other one, you'd go, oh, my God. <laughs> I'm shutting my mouth. I don't know why, because I've got the nets and everything, but <laughs> instinct. instinct. And you just think there's such a small hole, really, from the outside. Yeah, well, you don't. You see how they're collecting around it. That's that's really just to stop any, um, you know, anybody else to go. Coming in and everything else. Where, when they go, uh, uh, mm. no one will go in there. Anyone thinking about going in there, and they can. They're all got different smells, even though the hives are right next to each other. Um, so, come oh. on, ladies, out of the way. <laughs> um, you know, so if one came from that hive and tried to get in there, they'd sting it. Really? Yeah. You know, they'd sacrifice their life because, you know, the bee only has one sting and that's it. Mm. Whereas the wasp, you can keep stinging and stinging and stinging. Right. So that's it. Wow. Well, thank you very much. Oh, what an amazing little place here. Full of... John's, John's brilliant. He's Soil Association Organics. So it's about the only remaining farm. Well, there's um, two or three, actually, but this is the biggest... Um, organic farm in, in Jersey. What trees are they? Do you know? They'll be pears and apples. Oh, look at that. Cherries. What an amazing place.